your girl Claire and I remain your girl Claire. Today I just want to encourage someone by saying count your blessings and name them one by one. I know someone might be asking me <laughs> what blessings are you talking about in 2020 based on all the things you know that have happened in 2020 and as in because of all the recent happenings but <laughs> i just want you to thank god for the gift of life thank god for the gift of life i know a whole lot of people had expectations you know before we crossed into 2020 as in before we crossed over into the year and somehow you know before we knew it you know the virus came and a whole lot of things have been happening since then and you are like um everything i expected you know in 2020 up till now i've not been able to achieve it but i just want you to Think about it that every breaking of the dawn that you see is a very big opportunity from God. It is called the gift of life. You know, for some of us, God prepared us ahead of time for what was going to happen in 2020. And that was why he said to me, it was going to be the year of triumph. God prepared us ahead of time for whatever we um, were going to experience in the year 2020. Without a battle, there can never be victory. And one cannot be triumphant if there's no battle to be won. So you can only become triumphant after the battle. So every battle we have witnessed, you know, God has given us supernatural victory and supernatural triumph because he said we were going to triumph supernaturally in the year 2020. So thank God for his goodness. You know, a whole lot of people passed, you know, um, away during the time of the crisis, you know, and I believe some people are still in the hospital fighting a battle. But I want you to know that you who is alive and well right now, you need to thank God and count your blessings. It must not be a material blessing. It must not be a financial blessing. But thank God for the gift of life. Whether you're a Christian or non-Christian, it is all about the grace of God. Some people who passed on during the crisis were born again, spirit-filled, tongue-talking. And some were not spirit-filled, were not born again, and were not tongue-talking. So whether... You are spirit-filled. You are not spirit-filled. You are born again. You are not born again. A Christian or not a Christian. It is all about God. It is all about His grace and His faithfulness. It is all about His love. So take out time and thank Him. Anytime you see the breaking of the dawn, Lift your hands high and bless the name of the Lord. Lift your hands high and say thank you, Jesus, for the gift of life. So I just want you right now to pause for some seconds and just say thank you, Lord. Even as you're watching me right now, just say thank you, Lord, for the gift of life. I am grateful for the gift of life. I am thankful for the gift of life. Just thank him for his guidance, for his love, for his mercy. Just thank him for who he is. Bless the Lord, 
on my soul. Never forget his benefits. That's why I am counting my blessings and I'm naming them one by one. My brother, my sister, take out time. Just pause for a moment. Count your blessings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. God has been faithful. Thank him for those little things that you normally overlook. Thank him for the big things. Just thank him for everything. Irrespective of the condition you find yourself right now. Irrespective of what is going on in your life right now. Just count your blessings. Naming them one by one. God is so good. God is so wonderful. That's the reason why we should count our blessings, naming them one by one. Stay grateful to God. Stay connected to God. Stay truthful to God and stay loyal to God. The Bible tells us that it's not of him that wills, nor of him that run it. But it's of God that showeth mercy. It's all about God. We live because he lives. Don't think you deserve it. Don't think that whatever God has blessed you with today, that is because you deserved it. It is all about his grace. It is all about his unconditional love. He said, I will bless who I want to bless. And that is why no man can say no when God says yes to you. Because it is all about God who chooses to bless. So no one can dispute that or dispute the blessings of God in your life. So count your blessings today. Name them one by one. And it will surprise you all that the Lord has done. Bless the Lord, of oh our souls, never forget his good deeds for the gift of life, for every breaking of the dawn. Father, we thank you. We are naming our blessings, counting them and naming them one by one for the breaking of a new day, for this moment. Even for this very moment, as long as breath, there is breath in us, for the air that we inhale, for the air, even the one that we exhale, we give you the glory. It's all about you, God. So we're counting our blessings and we're naming them one by one. God bless you. And remember to stay grateful to God. Stay happy. Stay connected to him. And keep serving him in spirit and in truth. God has not yet finished with you. God starts with us when men have finished with us. Or when men are done with us. That's when God starts with us. So go ahead and thank God. For he is wonderful and amazing. God bless you. So count your blessings, name them one by one, irrespective of what you face, irrespective of what is going on around you. Just know that God is faithful, even when you are faithless. God is forever faithful, even when you give up on God, he doesn't give up on you. And that is the reason you should love him with all your heart. That's the reason you should just appreciate him for who he is. That is the reason you should love him for who he is. Because he loves you for you. He loves you for who you are. And that was why he gave up his son Jesus 
to die for you and for me on that cross because he loves us eternally. God bless you. So count your blessings, naming them one by one. Hallelujah. God bless you.